When I was 13 years old, this was my dream aquarium. A planted 90 gallon fish tank. Why was it my dream aquarium? Because my best friend had one and he had a clown loach in it. The clown loach quickly became my favorite fish and has been my favorite fish ever since. This is a species spotlight on the clown loach. Give me back that filet fish. Give me that fish. Give me back that filet fish. Give me that fish. What if it were you hanging up on this wall? If it were you in that sandwich, you wouldn't be laughing at all. Welcome to Friday Fish Facts. I'm your host, Ron DeSantis. Where does the clown loach get his name? Well, there's two reasons why a clown loach is called a clown loach. Typically, a fish that has stripes gets called a clown, clown fish. Um, the other reason is their quirky behavior. In my opinion, the clown loach is the best type of clown fish. What's up, Friday Fish Facts? These are some real clown fishes. Okay, so Hugh has a different opinion over at Prolific Breed there. Some people like clownfish better than clown loaches. Not me, personally. What are some other facts about the, the clown loach? Well, they don't have a reputation of being able to mate in captivity. They're almost always wild caught. There are a few cases of clown loaches mating in captivity, but they're very rare. They usually have the aid of hormones to get them to mate and even at that case it's still pretty rare. Now what size of a fish tank do you need to keep a clown loach? Well you need a 90 gallon fish tank. A 90 gallon fish tank is going to be the perfect size you'll never need to upgrade. Ron, clown loaches need a big tank like this one. Okay Ryan you're right. Uh, lucky schmuck is right. We do have future plans to upgrade this 90 gallon to a tank that does have a six foot imprint. Not sure what size tank that's going to be yet, but that is what you would really want for or a long term clown loach care. This is Bozo. He's my best friend. We've had him for about a year and a half now, and this isn't the greatest shot of him, but he's about four, four and a half inches long. Here's two of the medium sized ones right here, they're about three inches long. They all hang out as a family, all four of them. They get along with most other fish, except for other aggressive bottom dweller fish like red tailed sharks. I have seen them together, but uh, I wouldn't recommend it. We had one in here at one time, and it ended up one of the clown loaches died the next day just from the stress of being chased. But they do get along with other aggressive fish like tiger barbs and they get along with your rainbow fish, your archers because they're top fish. This is clown loach corner. This is where all the guys sleep. Bottom right hand corner of the tank. All four of them every night. Don't worry he's not sick. They do that. They lay down. Hopefully we get a shot later where he's laying down on his side, but they just relax. They're quirky, quirky fish. They eat a variety of foods. Pretty much anything you feed them they'll eat. They eat flakes, pellets, bloodworms, shrimp. The clown loaches can get quite big, ranging anywhere from 8 inches to 12 inches. They are slow growers though, so the bigger the tank, the bigger they get. The bigger they get, the happier they are, and the longer they'll live. These guys can live up to 20 years long. The clown loach's scales are different than other fish. While they do have scales, they're very small, which makes them susceptible to diseases like ick. Ick can be a killer to these guys if not treated quickly. If you're going to use medication for ick, make sure you just use half the dosage because these guys can be sensitive to medications. Clown loaches make a cute clicking noise when they're happily eating away. This guy is right now. You also might notice when you add a new clown loach or another similar bottom dweller 
that one or more of your existing clown loaches gray out. That's the term that they use for having their stripes not as dark as they commonly are. That's because they're getting aggressive and they're trying to set their social hierarchy. Clown loaches have a very strong social personality. They should never be kept alone, usually in groups of, I would say, I would say at least four, but probably at least three. And uh, go from there. The bigger the tank, the more you can keep. For all you other clown loach lovers, you can order this cool shirt. Yo, Ron, for real, my brother? Don't you got, like, any other shirts? Okay. Uh, sorry, Jason. I guess everyone doesn't dig it. I would like to thank all my collaborators this week. Jason, Aqua Funk with Angel Freak. Um, Hugh, Prolific Breed. And Ryan, Lucky Schmuck. Thanks so much, guys, for joining me on this Clown Loach Species Spotlight video. Join me next week for another edition of Friday Fish Facts.